Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a video on how to boost your FPS in Met Metro Exodus. Um, first of all, we will start with uh, the parameter inside of the game. It's very limited, honestly. It's it's a bit weird also because you have a lot of options that you just see on PC. For example, uh, Airworks, Desolation, um, what, what else? Uh, uh, ray tracing, DLSS, stuff like that that you see on NVIDIA card but you don't have all the normal options that you see inside of a PC game the game feels like it's a console game but you have like all those parameters exclusive for PC so anyway, it's a bit weird I will show you what to change after that we will go inside of the config file you can uh, change a lot of stuff in the config file first of all, a lot of people were asking me how can I remove the blur motion blur uh, so you we can do that in the file we can remove uh, the mouse acceleration slash smoothing we can also add borderless in the, the file so i will show you that later so first of all i'm playing full hd if after all the change you still have an issue with your fps uh for sure lower your resolution it will help you quality go with medium uh this this is pain in the ass because quality means it means all the graphic parameter in the game so your shadow will be at medium your texture will be at medium so if you see my my, my video normally in video games we always put texture at high or ultra but uh, for example shadow we're putting them at low so right now we can change those settings v-sync i'm putting it at off motion blur low but i will show you how to remove it in the config file for DirectX, if you have like an RTX card, honestly, Direct 12 uh, is running smoother on my PC than 11. I did a test on my RX 580. Again, on my MD card, a Direct X 12 was better. But if you have something like uh, a Series 900 and lower, uh, honestly, just play at DirectX 11. It will be better for you. But just test it, honestly. J don't change anything else. Just change your DirectX and look at your FPS. If it's better, use 11. If you're getting more FPS than 12, go with 12. For sure, if you want to use RTX, ray tracing, and stuff like that, you will need to use DirectX 12. A lot of people were asking questions. I don't understand. It's in gray. I can ch I can change my... Uh, ray tracing parameter it's because you're in direct x 11 for ray tracing ray tracing is kind of good in the game honestly i was uh playing at i um and i'm losing maybe 12 percent of my fps when i use a uh, ray tracing so it's not that bad uh dlss is pure crap honestly <laughs> the image quality sucks everything is blurry when i use it i don't know if it's normal or not but i'm not using it I'm not using the airwork, so if you have a video card, don't even. If you have like an integrated video card or an old NVIDIA card, don't test the airwork. You will lose like 30% of your FPS. So this parameter is pretty hard on your uh, uh, computer. Same thing with advanced physics, don't use that also. You will lose a lot of FPS. Distillation, if your card is kind of new, like series 900 and more, 1000, 2000. You will not have an issue with Tesselation, but on an AMD card, uh, my card was struggling. I was losing like 8% of my FPS, so make sure that uh, you're removing that one. Texture filtering, if you have like something like a uh, uh, new... it's you, you don't have like a big impact on your uh, FPS. If you have like 4 gig and more and like a recent video card, you can play easily at 16x. For sure, again, if you have like an integrated video card, very old video card, a mobile card, uh, go with 4x. Finally, shading rate, just play at 1x. And now we will go in the config file to see more options. So now, uh, to find the config file, you go to your uh, main drive where you install your Windows. So for me, it's the C drive, user, the name of your computer, save game, Metro Exodus, uh, all those numbers. And after that, user. Right click on it, open with Notepad++, and you will have all the parameter inside of the game. So the first one that you want to change is the blur level. Put this one at zero. You will remove completely the blur inside of the game. The other thing that you can change is the FOV, so you can put whatever number that you you want to use. Uh, don't go too high because you will see that the game is like kind of weird. You don't see uh, 
the the complete model in front of you you will see like some weird stuff so don't go too crazy with this one uh also two things that you can change is the foliage ambient inclusion and the shadow i'm putting this one at zero by default they are at one it will give you a nice boost honestly like eight to ten percent with your fps so pretty cool over there uh what else a lot of people is asking me about uh yeah the full screen thing uh they don't want to put uh, play full screen so Control f if you want to search something in the file just write full you will see here full screen oh it was just there wow so you can put off here and your game will be in borderless so kind of cool if you want to play borderless um and what else last thing is the mouse acceleration if you want to remove it first of all you need to search for a sense border uh put this one at two really important after that, search for mouse curve num. This one needs to be at zero and the QF over here needs to be at zero. So you will remove all the acceleration and the smoothing in the game on your mouse. When you finish, click save, uh, click X, right click on the user file properties. Make sure that you put the file in read only. Uh, now you will why read only a lot of people also asking me this uh, your file will be locked so each time you will open the game you make sure that the game doesn't override your uh, parameter because as you can see you don't have those options in the game so if you maybe just change I don't know a graphic parameter in the game and you save uh, it will will probably uh, remove all the configuration that you did here so make sure that you put the the file in read only mode so that's about it guys if you have any questions just come in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace